Some of you have asked about um, our car that uh, is 100% electric and it's designed to go from coast to coast and back uh, without being recharged and it's uh, we've named it Armadillo XE1 that's uh, the retail design which is actually shown on our website and um, really you know there's been a lot of uh, back and forth with you know how it works well the simplest way to tell you how it works is as the car moves forward and if it's going over 22 to 25 miles per hour it produces electricity it stores that power as it moves forward and it also uses power as it moves forward it does it efficiently and it stores efficiently <clears throat> so it's a continuous system and um, we've listed on our website what it's not or what some people have asked might be that it's using and what it's not using basically and, and I repeat myself a lot on this one it uses 100 percent electric it produces electricity it stores electricity that's it <clears throat> how we do that well that's proprietary information are we gonna be pursuing a um, a patent no we have no confidence in the patent system be it uh, nationally here in the US or internationally uh, putting a patent together and putting it on on our, you know they, they basically put it on the web and nowadays and it's up there for anybody who wants to steal it steal it copy it reverse engineer it change it a little um, so we don't want any part of that plus uh, a patent will only protect you for so many years and um, the way we are going to be protecting our, our system is through a black box technology that's uh, encrypted and so on and so forth if uh, anybody tries to remove the black box uh, it self-destructs or um, x-ray it or decipher it in any, in any manner <clears throat> once it's installed in the vehicle it um, you, you, you won't be able to to use it and you'd have to get a new one so that would that's really you know we, we want to stay out of the courts a lot there's a lot of companies losing a ton of money nationally and internationally on uh, patent infringement it's an ongoing battle that we don't want to be a part of uh, and we are looking for um, a legitimate investor for this uh, on another note um, we did apply for a grant which really turned out to not be a grant um, having to do with uh, new technology for cars and what we have definitely is new technology zero emissions uh, no fuels it doesn't use any fuels doesn't use solar again there's a long list on our website but <clears throat> the grant turned out to not be a grant more of a loan loan is from what I could we could tell um, it's not hasn't been converted into a uh, grant and we call them on that now if it, if it ever becomes a grant we'll definitely take it but uh, and the reason I say that is because we can create like some five million jobs within the next few years on this one invention alone this one vehicle <clears throat> um, nationwide over the next uh, so many years so um, being that we would be able to do that we feel that we should partake of a of a grant and being that it was supposedly allocated to be a grant um, where is the grant <laughs> okay uh, the uh, the big uh, three automakers got it uh, a part a piece of that plus a uh, Tesla uh, Roadster got a piece of that money and um, we were invited to go to Washington but we didn't go uh, we were invited by email, but we didn't go because, again, it was alone, and we don't want a loan. And um, uh, there's a lot of strings attached to a loan. So, you know, we're willing to take a grant because it'll create jobs or work with an, uh, a single investor or multiple investors. We're allocating 40% of the net profits for the uh, creation of this uh, vehicle. It's a larger SUV. You can take a look at what it looks like, uh, potentially speaking, that is. <clears throat> on our website plus more information or um, just send me an email be happy to reply or always give me a call if you want okay talk to you then